So when you work with different chemicals, you'll start to notice that all of them come with hazard labels on the side. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the hazard symbols and what that means you should do in terms of precaution to minimize the risk. As a general rule of thumb, if you wear your lab coat, glasses and gloves, that helps to protect your skin and your eyes from the damage of most chemicals. So the first symbol I'm going to talk about is the flame symbol. So this means that the item is flammable. It can burn at a low temperature or in some cases it may be able to heat itself and burst into flames or it may burn in the air or water. Generally to prevent risk of a flammable chemical if you just keep naked flames such as your bunsen burner away from the chemical that should help to reduce any risk. Next symbol is this exclamation mark. So this means that it's a moderate health hazard. This can be on a chemical because it is an irritant to either the skin, the eye or the respiratory system, or it may be harmful if you ingest it, inhale it, or comes into contact with your skin or eyes. A chemical with this symbol, it can also be a narcotic, meaning that can cause drowsiness or dizziness. So the same general risk, wear the correct protective equipment or PPE and use them in a well-ventilated room or sometimes you may have to use inside a fume cupboard if it's an irritant to the respiratory system. The next symbol is the corrosive. So this means that the chemical can cause burns to either the skin or eyes. And if you wear correct PPE, this should be enough to protect your skin and your eyes. But if you drop any of this chemical, just let a teacher or technician know so they can clear it up before it uh, corrodes into, say, a desk. The next symbol is one with a fish in the tree. So this means that it is harmful to the aquatic environment or the environment in general. It can cause prolonged effects, say, on the health of fish and any chemical with this symbol you want to collect any waste products at the end of your practical and a teacher or technician will deal with the waste so that it's not released into the environment. Next symbol is for a serious health hazard. So if you see this on a chemical it means that you have to take a lot of special care it can be a sensitizer to the respiratory system or it may be toxic to a specific organ. Um, it can sometimes call, be carcinogenic, meaning it can cause cancer or it can cause genetic defect or it may affect fertility or the un development of an unborn child. So if ever you see a chemical with this, it requires a lot of special care and attention and they often have to be used within a fume cover just to protect you a bit further. Next symbol is the skull and crossbone. So this means that it is acutely toxic. Again, it has the potential to cause great harm and they can also be fatal. Some of them are fatal even over after a small amount is either absorbed through the skin, ingested or inhaled. With these chemicals, again, requires proper uh, PPE and you may not be allowed to use these with, unless they're in a diluted concentration. The final chemical that I actually have is for an oxidizing agent. So a lot of oxidizing agents are not themselves flammable. But if I were to say have this chemical beside the ethanol and a naked flame, it would intensify the actual fire caused by the ethanol. So these, you just have to take care to keep them away from flammable liquids or gases or solids. There are also some hazard symbols that I don't have any chemicals for. So the first one, this is for an explosive chemical. Um, these are quite dangerous and so you generally not be using an explosive chemical yourself but it may be demonstrated by a teacher or a technician. You can also have the symbol for a compressed gas cylinder. 
So I have a butanol gas cylinder here for a portable Bunsen burner. It doesn't actually carry the compressed gas symbol, but it does have a flammable symbol. So any damage to this canister will mean that flammable gas is, is released. And if there is a flame, then potentially it can cause a fire. Next symbol is for radioactive substances. So this is anything that can cause damage to living tissue and potential DNA mutation. You would find it on gamma or beta sources of radiation. Again, because of the hazards associated that with this, you would generally only see them as a demonstration. And the final hazard symbol I'm going to talk about is for a biohazard. So any microbiological solution, so any microorganisms you work with, have a biohazard. Because of safety, they have a low, the ones you'll be using have a low biohazard rating, but again, just wear correct PPE and then sterilize the benches with um, antibacterial sprays um, off before and after use of any biohazards. Uh, and at the end of the practical, you should wash your hands with antimicrobial soap. But that follows for most practicals. It's always a good idea to wash your hands just in case anything has seeped under your glove, even though it's unlikely. So that has introduced you to a lot of the hazard symbols that you'll come across on chemicals.